So what's up, YouTube pop culture fans and pro wrestling fans? Welcome back to the Jeffman316 Pop Culture Reporter Channel. I'm your host, as always, Jeffman316. And it's time to open up the pro wrestling loot, or as Ric Flair would say, pro wrestling loot. Or, yeah, loot. Um, sorry about that. That's my poor imitation of Ric Flair. But, yeah, we're going to open up the pro wrestling loot. It feels kind of thick. It might be a shirt in here. Last time I took the shirt out and posed with it. Not going to do that this time. We're going to discover what's in here together so uh what are we waiting for let's uh as the great sting would say let's get this box open because it's showtime So yeah, gonna go ahead and open this up right here on camera. Um, I didn't um, prepare to put the shirt on, but oh, there's actually one item I'm gonna save for last, so you don't get to see that. So let me put that right here. That's kind of cool. So yeah, it was a shirt in here. So uh, hold on a second, let me find somewhere to set this box up. But so here's the shirt, and let's see what it is. Burning Hammer. What's Burning Hammer? Is that a brand? Is that a wrestling brand I'm not familiar with? There's the logo on it. It's kind of cool. So black t-shirt. These are really thick, nice t-shirts. Um, I've washed them before and I, they usually don't shrink. So they're better than some of that trash that you would get at Walmart. So uh, looks like there's a pin in here this time. Kevin Sullivan, you get a pin most months. So that's pretty cool. The Taskmaster, you know, remember him from WCW? He was the one that Chris Benoit um, took his wife in real life. You got a conspiracy theorist saying that, that he might have been involved in Benoit's death. You know, there's an autograph, and usually they flip it over, and I've already seen who it is. So, well, wait a minute. There's a reason that it wasn't flipped over, because they give you two autographs. And there was a trading card inside that fell out. So hold on one second. We'll look at that first. So the trading card, that looks like, yeah, it is two cold Scorpio. We'll line it up with me right there. Look at that. So yeah, it says it's from series three, two cold Scorpio card 31. So yeah, you get two autographs. This is, is it, is it Kaylin or Kylan King? She's uh, been in AEW and I most recently saw her on NWA Power on the YouTube. Uh, show that they have and she fought Camille at their pay-per-view for the NWA women's title So she's an up-and-coming female wrestler there. So that's good to get you get their a Certificate of authenticity type of lo uh, foil logo in the bottom sticker and here is the second autograph It's of WWF legend Coco beware the bird man. I don't have an autograph of him. So that's kind of cool I like that. So we got Coco beware Kaylin King, if that's how you pronounce her name. You got the card, got a pen, and got a shirt. But that's not all. There's one last thing that I didn't tell you. So I'll be right back and I'll show you what that is. So here's the last item. Where's all my Lucha fans out there? Because we got an authentic Lucha style mask here. It was folded in the middle, so I don't like that. But I, hopefully I'll lay it out and it'll get flat. So um, here, here's what we'll do. Look at that. So yeah, like I said, you get all that. So here's the card. They give you every month. This is the June 2022 mystery box from Pro Wrestling Loot. You get uh, the Coco Beware autograph. You get the um, Ky Kaylin, Kylan King, however you pronounce her name. Let me know down below. Is it K or Kai? Uh, how you pronounce the first part of her name. You get the wrestling t-shirt, burning hammer. You get the wrestling lucha mask. It says Dos Caras. Who is Dos Caros? Is that, uh, that's not um, Alberto De Rio, is he? And then you get the uh, lapel pin and the trading card. So you got a lot of stuff in this box. So um, I'm really happy with the contents of this. I don't know if you guys are. Let me know in the comments down below. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below, like I said. Let me know what your, your thoughts on this video or any video of mine you watch. Or how great I look in this fucking lucha mask. So um, 
And then after you do all that, don't forget to hit the notification bell and you'll know when I post new videos. So until next time, boys and girls, when we talk something pop culture related, this is JeffMan316, your pop culture reporter, signing out saying, you guys be safe out there. Woo! Ric Flair in a lucha mask? I don't know. What else am I going to say? Dig it or come back, brother. I don't know what any luchas say. <laughs>